What should a wife's submission to her husband look like if he's an abuser? <laughs> oh, my. Part of that answer is clearly going to depend on what kind of abuse we're dealing with here. How serious this is. Is her life in danger? Um, or is this verbal unkindness? I'm not sure what the person who asked the question had in mind. So let me just talk about maybe different kinds. Um, a woman's submission to her husband is rooted in the Word of God calling her to be for the Lord's sake, for the Lord's sake, submissive to him, which means she always has a higher allegiance, namely to Christ, and therefore Christ's word governs her life, and Christ has many words besides be submissive. Be submissive is not an absolute because her Lord has other things to tell her so that if the husband tells her something that contradicts what the Lord tells her, then she's got a crisis there of to whom do I submit now? And clearly she submits to Jesus above the Lord, I mean above, Je above her husband. And the reason she's submitting to her husband is, is because of her prior superior submission to the Lord. So if this man, for example, is calling her to engage in abusive acts willingly, group sex or something really weird, bizarre, harmful, that clearly would be sin, then the way she submits, and I really think this is possible, it's kind of paradoxical, she's not going to go there. I'm just saying, no, she's not going to do what Jesus would disapprove, even though the husband is asking her to do it. She's going to say, however, something like, honey, I, I want so much to follow you as my leader. God calls me to do that, and I would love to do that. It would be sweet to me if I could enjoy your leadership. And so then she would say, but if you ask me to do this, require this of me, then I can't, I can't go there. Now, that's one kind of situation. Just, just a word on the, on the other kind. If, if it's not requiring her to sin, but simply hurting her, then I think she endures verbal abuse for a season and she endures perhaps being smacked one night and then she seeks help from the church. I mean, every time I deal with somebody in this, I find the ultimate solution under God in the church. In other words, this man should be disciplined. This man should be disciplined. She should have a safe place in a body of Christ where she goes and then the people in the church deal with him. She can't deal with him by herself. So the short answer, I think, is the church is really crucial here to step in, be her strength, say to this man, you can't do this. You cannot do this. That's not what we allow. That's not what Christ calls you to be. So I can't go into all the details, but I would say, I hope, I would say to a woman, come to a church that you feel safe in, tell them the case, let the leaders step in and help you navigate the difficulties here.